Pastor Larry Allison here, Gospel Light Free Will Baptist in Bonterre. And uh, we're sure glad you joined us on this Thursday morning, uh, our Daily with God uh, devotion. Be turning in your Bible this morning uh, to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 32. And uh, while you're turning there, you that are reading the Bible through with us this year, your scripture for today is Deuteronomy 32 through 34. 32, 33, 34, and your New Testament scripture is the book of Mark, chapter 15, uh, verse 26 through 47. Mark 15, verse 26 through 47. Trust you're having a good morning. Uh, listen, there's no better way to start the day uh, than in prayer uh, and meditating over the Word of God and uh, just getting something from heaven uh, that'll give us some encouragement today, give us a blessing today. Uh, there, there are so much turmoil all around us, it seems, uh, and yet we have peace in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? I mean, he is our rock, the very rock of our salvation. And that's what we're going to look at this morning. Back, Old Testament, Deuteronomy 32, uh, we're going to look at the Song of Moses. Uh, it's kind of a lengthy chapter, but we're going to just be looking at a few... Uh, all four or five verses in this chapter. But you know what? It, it's the song of Moses. It's the song uh, of the rock, okay? Um, <clears throat> I mean, what is Christ to us today? What is Christ to his people? Uh, man, he's our rock. He's the rock of ages, the rock of salvation. Uh, I mean, uh, and it's upon him, the solid rock, whom we stand today. Now, there's two rocks that are really mentioned and referred to in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32. Uh, the one rock uh, that is mentioned, uh, actually look at verse 37, Deuteronomy 32, verse 37, and he shall say, where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted? Notice rock, small r. Uh, this is talking about the rock uh, of those who... Uh, the, the heathens, those who knew, who would not worship God as God. I mean, they they worshipped uh, uh, the stones. They worshipped uh, images. Uh, they was into idolatry. These were the gods of the heathens. And listen, the rocks that the heathens trusted in uh, had absolutely, they was false foundations. Their, their hope was in something that was a vain hope. <laughs> They, they was hoping in the hopeless, okay? And so that is one rock that's referred to. Uh, it says, where are their gods? Their rock in whom they trusted. They worshiped in, uh, they trusted in false gods. They trusted in false things, false foundations. And there was no hope uh, in those rocks, okay? But then there is the other rock that Deuteronomy 32 speaks of. We would call this the rock of our salvation, <laughs> the rock of even referred to in the Old Testament, the rock of the Lord Jesus Christ, Christ himself. Praise the Lord. He is our rock uh, today. He is a strong rock. He is an unchanging Savior. Uh, I, I mean, notice, uh, look at verse 30. How should one chase a thousand and two put 10,000 to fight, flight? except their rock, their rock had sold them, and the Lord had shut them up. Now, that rock, by the way, is not a small R. That's a capital R. We're talking about the Lord himself, the rock of salvation. Uh, notice verse 15 also refers uh, to the rock of the Lord himself. In verse 15, But Jeshurun waxed fat and kicked, thou art waxen fat, Thou art grown thick, thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook God, which made him and lightly esteemed the rock. Notice, capital R again, the rock of his salvation. Oh, there were so many times the children of Israel, they turned from their rock. Uh, they rebelled against their rock. Uh, but listen, we know that it is the Lord himself. He is the rock that saves. Okay? It's called the rock of salvation. And he's represented in several of these scriptures in this chapter. 
in verse 18, we find, well, you know what? Our rock, the Lord, he is the very giver of life. You're not here by accident. None of us are. The fact that we have breath in our body today, God has breathed life into us. We're here by God's perfect will. <clears throat> He's the giver of life. Uh, there is no other giver of life but the Lord himself. Verse 18, of the rock, capital R, that begat thee, thou art unmindful and hast forgotten God that formed thee. See, they was guilty of some things. Man, they forgot the Lord on occasion. Uh, they was unmindful on occasion, didn't consider God. But this verse is a reminder in this song, the song of Moses, they are being reminded, hey, listen, it's the Lord that is the giver of life. I mean, he is the rock of salvation. He's the very giver of life. Why, he's even the savior of men. Verse 15, we, we read that already. Jeshurun racks fat, kicked or waxen fat. Thou art ground, grown thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Uh, forsook God, which made him and lightly esteemed. Notice the rock of his salvation. Our salvation is in Christ and none other today. Our salvation is in the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, he's our savior. He's our redeemer. He's the giver of life at birth. And praise the Lord, when we are born again with the spirit of God, he is the giver of that life also. He is the giver of our spiritual life. When we're born again by the very spirit of God. Why, he is the source of all of our uh, our supply. I mean, he verse 13, he made him ride on the high places of the earth that he might eat the increase of the fields. He made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. I mean, by the grace of God and by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord supplies today our every need. Our rock, he's the giver of life. He's the savior of man. He's a source of supply, and he is the perfect worker in our lives today. Listen, what the Lord begins, he finishes. <laughs> and we're all a work in progress, amen? And what the Lord finishes, uh, works on, he finishes well. Verse 4 of that chapter, he is the rock, capital R. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth. And without iniquity, just and right is he. Our uh, rock is perfect in every way. He is holy. He is He is the perfection of the Godhead himself. And he is that perfect worker working in our lives today. And then finally, you know what? He is the incomparable master. There is no comparison. Remember, there's two rocks here in Deuteronomy 32, it's the rock of salvation, the Lord himself, compared to the rock that the heathens trusted in, their false foundation, their vain hopes. And can I tell you today, there is no comparison between the two. They are so far apart, you can't even compare them. Uh, I mean, look at verse 31, verse 31, for their rock is not as our rock. You know what? Their little false gods and their little false idols cannot compare to our rock, the true God, the only God, the one and only true, holy God of heaven. I mean, even our enemies themselves being judges. So he's doing what he's saying. You, there's no, it's an incomparable, uh, it's incom uh, you can't compare them. We have incomparable masters. Oh, our God will never let us down. He'll always meet our needs. He'll always give us victory. And in the, listen to me, and in the day of trial, and we all go through days of trial, and if you haven't yet, they're coming. Listen, in the day of trial, listen to me, the rocks of the ungodly will always fail them. There is no hope in them. They are vain. There is no peace in the rocks of the ungodly. But I tell you what, when trials come, our God will see us through. <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus. Many of you watching right now, you've been through some trials. Some of you have been through severe sicknesses and illnesses, and God has brought you through. 
Some of you have been through uh, great spiritual tor turmoils. And you know what? And you turn to Christ, and he, the rock, has pulled you through. There are some of you who have been through emotional stresses and, and various things that has seemingly worked against you. And praise the Lord, the rock of our salvation has seen you through. He'll never fail us. He'll never love us, let us down. And I love the promise, he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Christ, the rock of our salvation. And you that are watching, I hope he is your rock today. If not, boy, you need to, you need to trust him. You need Christ as your savior. Let him be the rock of your sal salvation. Let him be the solid rock of your faith as you trust Christ as your Lord and savior today. Listen, you that are reading the Bible through, here's your scripture for tomorrow. Joshua, Oh, well, we're going to get some good studies in Joshua. Joshua chapter 1 through 3, Joshua 1, 2, and 3, and New Testament, the book of Mark chapter 16, Mark chapter 16. Have prayer with me this morning. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning in Jesus' name. Lord, we're so thankful, so grateful that our rock is the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, and it's in you whom we put all of our trust. We are dependent upon you today. And Lord, when the storms come and the trials come, Lord, you are the rock that's going to see us through. We thank you for the victory we have today in Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. Meet the needs of those that are watching right now. Lord, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. You have a great day today. And Lord willing, we, we really do uh, hope you can join us in the morning as we continue our daily with God. Lord bless.